The Kruger National Park is probably the one that you think of if you want to see animals in South Africa. Most people probably don't consider visiting some of the lesser known national parks. In this video, we want to show you why you should still consider visiting Ado Elephant and Mountain Zebra National Park. Ado Elephant is on the path to becoming South Africa's third largest national park. It houses a large amount of elephants, which is not really surprising, and you can find a series of other animals like the springbok, which is not native to the Kruger National Park. Other highlights include an elang, which is an antelope the size of a cow, hyenas, or even leopards. Another highlight of the park is the dung beetle, which is given the right of way on the streets. The roads in Edo Elephant Park are often made from clay, so they can get really slippery in the rain. Our Corolla was at its limits for this road, and at one point we even had to get rescued by a 4x4. A short drive north of Edo Elephant, you can find the Mountain Zebra National Park. While in theory it is possible to visit both parks in a single day, we highly recommend spending a day in each of the parks. The most likely start you can visit in the Mountain Zebra National Park is the Mountain Zebra. In the early 1930s, this zebra was almost extinct in this region, and only by strict conservation efforts the population has now recovered. In 2007, the South African cheetahs were introduced into the area, and in 2013, three lions have been released. While it is really unlikely to spot any of these cats, if you do, it is a magical moment. It was just incredible to watch how patient a cheetah mother can be with her cups.
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing or check out some of our other videos on South Africa over here.